Welcome back guys. So in part one we have seen the implementation of receiving Firebase cloud messaging notification when our app is running in foreground. So in this part we will see the implementation of same but when our app is running in background. Let's get started by adding some flutter notification system we will use this flutter local notification library i will provide a link for this website so you can use the latest version next you have to go to the build.gradle of app level and add this firebase messaging this is the latest version for me but I will provide a link for this as well, so you can get the latest version for you. Now we are ready to start implementation of that. We will go down, I will copy and paste some code from here to save some time. This is simply just making some variable of this. And in it, in, in its state, we have to initialize some settings for notification. We remove our weight and removing the setting for iOS. We can pass here null instead of that. This select, selected notification is called whenever we tap the notification from notification bar. It will tell the device what to do. So it's going to be a future function, string payload, it will get some payload and we will not do, use that. Await flutter local notification dot cancel all. We will simply remove those notification from the notification bar. Next we have to add some on background controller here on background my background handler so this my background handler should be in top level it means outside of any class But before this, we have to create some notification inside our my app state, some notification design. That's it. Now we can call this function from here dot show, and we will pass this message, which we will get this message from Firebase cloud messaging when our app is in background and save it but be careful to change your package name here the rest will be same If you lost your package name, you can simply come here to Android Manifest and copy your package name from here. Next, after saving this one and this one, you will have to come to Android Manifest and apply some settings here. You will have to come in this part application and change this Android name to dot application dot this one. Not this name, but this name. Then you will have to come down and add this part intent builder if you don't have it already. And the last thing you have to change this two to one. Otherwise, you will get a very big error which you can't find it in internet as well. 
Now, I think we should be ready. Let's run our, our app in my device and we will see the output. All right, our app is running in the device, as you can see in the corner. So, oh yeah, we have to have like internet in our device so we can get the token for that. All right, now we have the token. To get this token, you have to have internet access in your phone. And also, I forget to mention one thing. Uh, after running these many things or adding this thing in uh, build.gradle and also adding this one in Flutter, you have to have internet access in your computer. Otherwise, you'll get some error. So I'll copy this token here and let's test our app oh i forget to change the code in my notification title it should be like message of notification of title and here also message of notification notification of body then this the rest is the same i'll just simply restart for it to work then i'll come back here this time we are not going to check the notification in foreground it will work uh, but let me check for you let me just check maybe you will say that uh, now it's not working but we should receive our notification yeah we received it okay the foreground is working uh, we already applied that in part one so let's get our app in background now our app is in background i have just only pressed the home button it's in background there so i will send a notification again here to the same device yeah we have received that notification here two times yeah uh, it's just the lag of the internet no problem so now let's quiet our app completely from background we don't have anything in the background here let's send our notification again and we'll see if we can receive that in the background yeah we have received it we have received it so let's tap our notification and it should remove this notification after tapping when we tap it it will open the app and it will remove that notification from the notification bar that is the power of this one down here on select notification cancel all so that's it for this part in the next part we will see the how to write some node.js function so we could receive notification directly whenever we add something like in our database here okay we will have some collection like this in our database and Whenever some, some document is added in here, the, we will receive the notification to its relevant device and we will also add the 
device token in here so we will see that in the next tutorial so thank you for watching this part i will see you in the next part